Hey everyone, Tech Commentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide, lock, and unhide the app on your iPhone. So let's get started. So in order to do this, you do need Face ID or Touch ID enabled. So if you haven't done so, first thing is go into your setting. From your main settings, you're going to go to Face ID and passcode. Enter your phone's passcode and ensure that you have Face ID turned on or enabled or Touch ID and you're ready to do this. So first thing is you need to pick an app. So I'm going to go ahead and pick as an example maybe my TikTok app. I'm going to long press and hold and that gives me the option here to require Face ID which will lock the app. So if I tap on that, I have two feet options here. If I just add require Face ID, it's going to be locked so that if I try to open that app, as you can see here, it's currently locked trying to look for my Face ID and I'm not looking at it. And if I want to unlock it, I can try Face ID again and it'll go ahead and unlock it. Now if you want to hide it and even lock it, you're going to long press and hold again. And this time let's remove, don't require that to unlock it completely, but we're going to long press and hold again and do the same thing again, require Face ID or Touch ID if you have a touch phone. And this time we're going to do hide and require face ID. So we're going to tap on that. And then as you can see, it's going to hide the app from here. And you might be wondering where it's hidden. So it's going to be hidden at the very last page, which is going to be the app library. And then down below, all the way bottom is a hidden folder. And if you tap on it, it's going to ask you to verify your face ID or touch ID. And then you can see it. And if you ever want to unhide this app, all you're going to do is long press and hold and then click on don't require face ID and it's going to go ahead and unhide that app and bring it back to basically your home screen or if you don't see it over here it might be in your library here and you can press and hold and then add it back to the home screen just like that. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.